What is up everyone? Welcome to your 23rd tutorial and this tutorial is going to be amazing because I'm finally going to tell you guys how to animate using CSS and I'm not talking about like a simple rollover where it changes a color but sweet animations. So the first thing I want to tell you guys is this. See how we have this box right here and if we look at the HTML we can see that we basically have a div with an ID of box and that's what we get and when we roll over it nothing happens. Well it's time to change all that. In order to make it change whenever you roll over it, you do something like this. You need to add a pseudo class called hover. Now just go ahead and write your box just like this. And right after it, go ahead and put the, uh, what's it called? Not a semicolon, a colon, and write hover. Now if you ever worked with links, this is typically what you do whenever you want to make a link change color. You do something like this. But in this hover class, you write what do you want to change and what we want to do since we're working with those transformations is we're just going to hit webkit transform and remember when we transform it we mean change it somehow so now we want to say how we want to change it rotate 45 degree I just make something really obvious like that now if I go ahead and save this and refresh this beast right here refresh whenever I hover over it check it out it goes 45 degrees. Now, this is kind of weird and you probably never do this. I just wanted to make something obvious for this tutorial. Typically what you would do is change the color or something, like on a rollover. But I just want to show you guys that that is how you do rollovers using transformations. Now, with that being said, you're saying, okay, that's nice and all, but it looks kind of weird just snapping like that. Wouldn't it be nice if it could actually have an animation and it look like it's turning instead of just going from one point to another? Well, yes it would, and lucky for you guys, I'm about to show you how to do that. Now, what you need to add is something called a transition. Now, whenever you add this transition, it pretty much takes point A and point B, which is your starting and ending point, and it fills in all the things automatically for you. You don't need to make all the separate little animations. You don't need to worry about what's in between. You just need to give it two points, a beginning and an ending point, and tell it how long you want that animation to take. And you do it like this. Hit WebKit, Transition. Hold on, I said there. Transition. There we go. Can't type and talk at the same time today, evidently. And after this, it says, okay, you want to animate something. You want something to become a transition. First, it's going to ask, okay, what property do you want to animate? Well, our property that we want to animate is right here. And the reason we need to give it the property is because of this. Right now, so you see how it starts out like at a regular angle and then when we hover over it it turns 45 degrees that's one property that we can change we could have also changed the color of it or the size of it so whenever we animate this we say okay whenever we're working with our animation we only want you to change this rotation right here this transformation so it says okay I'm gonna change this transformation right here but how long do you want the animation to last? Do you want it to turn for one second, two second, fifteen seconds? Well, we'll just give it something not too fast so you guys can see. I'll give it like a one second transformation. So again, whenever you want something to animate, you need to WebKit transition property and then write what property you want to animate and how long. And now if we go ahead and refresh this whenever you roll over it, let me center this. Now you can see it has a nice slow transition and actually let me go ahead and change that to two seconds I don't know on my screen recorder how well that's gonna show up so now it should be good if I center this beast and check it out a nice sh sh well, I was about to say sh 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 slow animation a nice slow animation that's kind of a tongue twister nice slow nice slow there we go so as you can see whenever you hover over it it rotates 45 degrees and whenever you hover away it goes back to its normal position and I actually was going to show you guys an awesome way that you can make awesome buttons using multiple uh, transitions but I think I'm going to save that for the next tutorial because it's going to be awesome I'm going to be taking this same thing right here and applying a ton of different properties to it and show you guys whenever that happens all the different awesome effects you can achieve so there you go there you have it that's how to achieve animation without the use of javascript or anything complicated so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial